in full Karl Heinrich Marx, revolutionary, sociologist, historian, and economist. He published, with Friedrich Engels, Manifest der Kommunistischen Partei, 1848, commonly known as the Communist Manifesto. The most celebrated pamphlet in the history of the socialist movement. He also was the author of the movement's most important book, Das Kapital. These writings, and others by Marx and Engels form the basis of the body of thought and belief known as Marxism. This Karl Marx quotes will motivate you. Keep people from their history, and they are easily controlled. My object in life is to dethrone God, and destroy capitalism. Take away a nation's heritage, and they are more easily persuaded. Accumulation of wealth at one pole, is at the same time accumulation, of misery, agony of toil, slavery, ignorance, brutality, mental degradation, at the opposite pole. Surround yourself with people, who make you happy. People who make you laugh, who help you when you are in need. People who genuinely care. They are the ones worth keeping in your life. Everyone else is just passing through. The meaning of peace is the absence of opposition to socialism. Communism begins where atheism begins. The education of all children, from the moment that they can get along, without a mother's care, shall be in state institutions. The democratic concept of man is false because it is Christian. The democratic concept holds that each man is a sovereign being. This is the illusion, dream, and postulate of Christianity. If you can cut the people off from their history, then they can be easily persuaded. The theory of communism may be summed up in one sentence, abolish all private property. Catch a man a fish, and you can sell it to him. Teach a man to fish, and you ruin a wonderful business opportunity. When the sufferers learn to think, then the thinkers will learn to suffer. The last capitalist we hang shall be the one who sold us the rope. Anyone who knows anything of history knows that great social changes are impossible without feminine upheaval. Social progress can be measured exactly by the social position of the fair sex, the ugly ones included. Abilities to each according to his needs. There must be something rotten in the very core of a social system which increases its wealth without diminishing its misery. This young lady who instantly overwhelmed me with her kindness, is the ugliest creature I have seen in my entire life, with repulsive Jewish facial features. The first requisite for the happiness of the people is the abolition of religion. Democracy is the road to socialism. Is it a misfortune that magnificent California was seized from the lazy Mexicans, who did not know, what to do with it. Religion is the opium, of the masses. Under no pretext should arms, and ammunition be surrendered, any attempt to disarm, the workers must be frustrated, by force if necessary. Workers of the world unite, you have nothing to lose, but your chains, Follow your own path, 
No matter what people say, the Jews of Poland are the smeariest of all races. I wish to avenge myself against the one who rules above. We know that violent measures against religion are nonsense, but this is an opinion. As socialism grows, religion will disappear. Its disappearance must be done by social development, in which education must play a part. Taxes are the source of life for the bureaucracy, the army and the court, in short, for the whole apparatus of the executive power. Strong government and heavy taxes are identical. The existence of the state is inseparable from the existence of slavery. Change the economic base and you will change human beings. The production of too many useful things results in too many useless people. History repeats itself, the first is tragedy, then is farce. The task is not just to understand the world but to change it. The class struggle necessarily leads to the dictatorship of the proletariat. To destroy Christianity, we must first destroy the British Empire. Do not be deluded by the abstract word freedom. Whose freedom? Not the freedom of one individual in relation to another, but freedom of capital to crush the worker.